I would recommend pursuing an MBA because it actually is the next step to senior management positions. Typically, what happens is that most managers actually evolve over time coming out of one function or maybe two. But actually, an MBA is a general management program, which brings you in touch with all the different aspects of actually managing a business. It is actually a preparation for senior leadership where you have to lose this attachment to only one function and you actually have to get a very broad specter of different ideas, frameworks, methods, theories and experiences and practical deeds in order to be able to move into senior management. We actually collect feedback also from our alumni on what is needed in order to make sure that the program is always up to date. Of course, our faculty updates the programs every year, but we go beyond that. We actually look and talk to other business leaders in the environment or globally and ask for the input what companies will be asked actually needing in the future. Finally, what we do, we actually get international certifications. So we are not only ranked by the Financial Times or other uh, methodologies out there that track uh, the quality of MBA programs, but we have accreditations from the Association of MBA, so AMBA, and from AACSB, which is another international association, and of course, the association from Holland and from Belgium, which is the NBAO. All of this put together, including the regular reviews that we do, make sure that our quality of the content, the curriculum, and the teaching methods is up to date and prepares participants for the future. One of the elements of our content, as well as, of course, is the applicability and the real connection to real business life. So we use teaching cases, we use business simulations, we actually have speakers from industry joining our program. All of this put together actually makes the clear link between what we teach and what business leaders need out there. One of the unique elements of our program is the actual decision that we will not take them to our own campuses abroad. So when we take people on trips to the Americas, we do not take them to our campus in America. We actually go to a top American University, the same in China or the same in, in, in Africa. Why we do that is in order to ensure that the people are not only having an international experience of being there, but actually experiencing firsthand the different cultural elements, but also teaching styles. So when we are on a campus in China, we actually have Chinese professors teaching our students. We do not have our professors teaching in China. The same goes for Africa or the US. This ability to actually immerse them in the local culture and teaching environment is actually quite unique.